I've got Nikki Wicks here in the kitchen today and we're going to cook Mexican together. So welcome to the yeah, kitchen. Thank you very much. Fantastic to be here. Yeah, it's great. I used to watch you on the TV and you used to yeah. travel around the world and come back and cook it. Oh, yeah, I wanted yeah. that job. Yeah, <laughs> well, look great. at that, eh? <laughs> no, but it's great. But no, so this is the second best thing, actually. So we're yeah. in the kitchen. We're doing Mexican. So what are we cooking? So we're cooking a famous uh, Mexican dish called a Mexican mole, M-O-L-E. So, you know, you can impress your friends by not saying chicken mole, but you can say chicken mole. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's what we were calling it yesterday. That's right. <laughs> Yeah, I know, it's not got the most attractive name, but mole means sauce, essentially, and, uh, you know, there's very, you know, there's loads of different ones of these in, in Mexico, but this is the one that I love. It's beautiful. And just having a look at these ingredients, like, it's going to be pretty awesome because we've got chilies, Mexican, and we've got chocolate in there as well. I know, so, so chocolate. Yeah. You don't think of that in a savoury kind of meat dish, or in this case, chicken dish, but it's beautiful. Well, yeah. it's going to be great. So join us a little bit later on in the show, and we'll cook this fantastic dish. Now it's over to Mel. Welcome to the cafe. Nikki, good to have you here. Yeah, lovely. Lovely to be here. This is quite good, actually. Usually I help out Mark, but now I'm just going to sit back, relax, and chill out this oh, please time around. do. I can just watch the wonders of work. OK, <laughs> so before we get stuck into your recipe, what have you been up to recently? Well, let's have a think. Um, Women's Weekly keeps me really busy, yeah. so you know every week I have to come up with four amazing recipes that people can cook at home. Uh, and I've just come back from Bali. I was about three weeks up there, oh, yoga nice. and eating. Yeah, that's big at the moment, isn't, isn't it? it? The combination of both yeah. of them. Well, eating is always high on my agenda when I try. <laughs> Well, that may surprise you. And now you're at peace with the eating. That's right, yes. exactly. Yeah, you feel like you're not, you're not so sort of gluttonous. You do a bit of this and then you do a bit of eating, yeah. And uh, you've got a book out too, have you? Yes, I have. My book, Cook, Eat, Enjoy. It, look, it's not really newly out, but as I say to people, good cookbooks should never go out of fashion. I'm like, the recipes still work. Don't worry about that. Oh, you know? yeah, that's right. Actually, <laughs> you know, it me out. Interestingly enough, you know, when I first was sort of getting to know you, I would say probably about 10 years ago, you yeah. you know, you, you had a few issues with gluten-free food because, you, you know, you, you had you suffered now what? and again. You've got a good memory. Yeah, That's and, and, fantastic. You know, I was thinking back, things have changed a lot now, haven't they? Well, you mean in terms of the now, how widespread it is? Yes, yeah, and how we accept it and we, yeah. we work it into our lives. Yeah. Loads of people still don't accept it. Like, I still know loads of chefs that are like, ah, you know, what is that? Oh, that chilli. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's got me with the chilli. But you're it, is Mexican. <laughs> it is Mexican. It is Mexican after all, yeah. Um, but you're absolutely right. So I, I'm not celiac, but mm. I know that I have a gluten intolerance because yes. my, I get a really bad back with it. So, hey. Oh, you know? well, there you go. See, you were ahead of the rest of us back there, weren't oh, you? Oh, well, there I was. OK, well, that's good. Right, now we've caught up. What are we making? <coughs> oh, you're right. Those water. That chilli has really got to me. So we're making a chicken mole. Mm -hmm. um, which is a weird savoury dish that has a little bit of chocolate in it and right. all of these beautiful spices. Mm. And uh, so we've got, Mark, you're on the spices. What have you yeah. got in there? Right, so we've got some cumin in there and we've got some chilies. So we, we've, we've only put half the amount of chilies in, haven't we? We have. But you've only put one chilli in. Well, no, we've got about three of the six that I had, but they look, they look mean. They look, you know. No, I, I, yeah, I think no, these are, yeah, you've got a little bit of kick from these, but yeah. you've got great flavour from these. Yeah, great. They look you know? all smoky and lovely. Yeah, me Mexican chilies. And that's what I'm doing with the garlic. We yep. also want a really smoky flavour. Mm. So when you're in Mexico, a lot of the mole tends to have this beautiful, yeah, this underlying kind of smokiness to it. So I figured out, if I'm not cooking over an open fire, which in my kitchen I don't, I don't know about you, <laughs> uh, then if you burn the garlic, you kind of char that skin and you on get the that flavour from it. Beautiful yeah. flavour in there, yeah. What makes you uh, like this dish? You mentioned before oh. about the moles and how there's different ones of them. Yeah. What, why does this one particularly take your fancy? Because it's, well, it's easy, and right. all of my recipes, I love to make them, you know, just really accessible for people in the kitchen. So a traditional mole can have anything up to sort of 32 different spices and it oh, might yeah. have a whole lot of different types of chilli but of course we don't have True, access to don't. all of those here so I wanted to get the essential flavours into it right. but yeah. at the same time just making sure that we still have that authentic flavour right that's looking quite nice and sort of charry can you see that a yeah. little bit so I'm going to add that it's probably not quite as brown as I'd like it but we'll give it a crack that's going to go in there okay do -do -do -do. I love it. I'm and start this, pushing these down yeah, as go well. on. And this is probably a mole pablona. Uh, that's probably the, the the type that we're making, given the ingredients that we've got going in there. It's got the tomatoes. It's mm. got some beautiful. You can smell that yeah, already, can. can't yes, you? I, can. I know it's fantastic. I love it. Hey, I'll do the onions. Let's get let's get those. I'll in move there. a pot for you. Oh, it's very great. helpful oh, in the kitchen. God, you're like a, you're amazing. What a what a sous chef. Oh, huh? I tell it in everything he knows. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, he did, like moving the pot from one side <laughs> to the other. Yeah. I love to buy it. everything in boxes. <laughs> 
buckets <laughs> yeah. and just add water. You didn't, did I you? I did. Oh, I've, my God. I've learned a lot now. Do you want this back on? Yeah, that can go back on. I'm kind of low, if you know what that looks like. Yep. Grace. <laughs> oh, I didn't mean that like in that way. <laughs> I love it. Have we only got half an onion? Is there another half? No, no, oh, there half you go. Half. Oh, there you have it. Gosh, you're really good at grinding those, I must say. Very Gotta be good, good at something. Oh, I say. <laughs> So great having a bit of a hand. So we're just making a little bit of a paste here, and the mole part of the recipe, mole just means sauce. Okay. Okay. Right, so we're right. we're making a traditional Mexican sauce. Got some spices, some beautiful onions, this mm. chocolate in it. Let's throw some bacon in here too, again for that kind of smokiness. Oh, and yes. you can put anything you want in 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 this recipe, or or in Mexico they, they yeah. put different things in. You can put fish in there. And yeah, you could. I sauce. think fish would be quite overpowered by this particular one because it's quite rich. But you could certainly do it with pork. Oh yeah. Oh, you yeah. could. Uh, we've got chicken thighs. I think my very original recipe uh, was chicken breast because they often use breast up in uh, Mexico. And I prefer the thigh and the drum meat. It's just wow. kind of a little bit more um, luscious and fat-filled. I'm going to throw that in there. I don't know what nice. the recipe says. I don't know when that's supposed to go in. Uh, <laughs> it can go in now, can it? Right, there's right. Your that's beautiful. Sort, sort of a paste. Sort of a paste, he says. Good I love work, it. Mark. Right, have right. you got a spoon there? No? Okay, that can go We can throw that here. in there and then we can come back a little later on if you want. Great, and see how it's going. Yeah, we'll check the recipe, see how uh, we're going. Oh, oh, don't worry about the recipe. <laughs> that's the other thing. You don't want to get too carried away with a recipe. You Let's... want to kind of... You know, last night when I was practicing this, I didn't have half the ingredients, but it still go. tasted great. It's about making cooking fun and That's relaxing. Right. <laughs> you can tell she's been to Bali, can't you? Okay. Ooh, <laughs> uh, in the cafe kitchen, and things are humming along here nicely with Nikki and, of course, our sous chef. <laughs> 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 Love right, it. What are we up to with our mole here? So we've fried off those spices and the onions and yep. that bacon, get all that smokiness going on. I've added our tomatoes. Mm. I'm going to throw in the essential ingredient here is cinnamon sticks. Okay. You could use about a tea spoonful of ground cinnamon if you have it uh, you know if you don't have cinnamon sticks and some stock it can be veggie or chicken stock that goes in there and that's just going to cook down nicely okay and then um, we can just add our chicken and what I love about this recipe is that you don't have to brown the chicken I know browning gives that caramelizing flavor and all that but Sometimes when I'm making a recipe and it calls for browning the meat, my little heart sinks just a little bit because I think, oh, I've got to do that bit. Oh, another you know? step I can't be bothered doing. Oh, another yeah. step. I can't... And maybe another dish that I can't be bothered yes. dirtying as well. Yeah. This just goes like, in like this. I like Look at that. Yeah. And I've also used, well, splashing there, I've also used chicken thighs with the bone in. So the bone gets hot and you have that kind of internal little oven and you get more flavour, don't you think? Mm. Adam? And it keeps, oh, it, yeah, it keeps it moist keeps as well. It moist and just good like and a, all of that, a, yeah. That's a good chicken. tip. I know. So okay, cool. I've, I've busted yours up there. You've got the chocolate, which is a small amount of chocolate, given the amount of, you know, liquid and all of that we've got. And we've got, you know... So this is a good quality, sort of like high yeah. cocoa percentage, yeah, sort of 65, 70%. Exactly. Good dark chocolate. You don't want to be using milk chocolate. Right. You don't want to be mm, using white good. chocolate. You know, you don't want to be using caramel What about people. a Kit Kat? <laughs> You, yeah, Kit Kat, well, you probably could if you're English. And I, don't, I wouldn't <laughs> yeah. recommend it. Because didn't you fry the Snickers bar or something? Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you okay, English. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. The, but it's no, Scottish, it, actually. But we'll claim that because you good. Go. Have you tried that caramello chocolate? Though? I love Ooh. caramello chocolate, yeah. Just not for my mole. <laughs> no, no. So the darker the better, why? Because you need more cocoa content. Yeah, you're just, okay. you're just wanting that really lovely... And then really you get that lovely, bitterness as well. Yeah, you, the You're not getting sweetness from the chocolate. Okay, good That's great. And, you know, when you first make a mole, there's something about you that goes, oh, that's not very much chocolate. You keep tasting along the way as good chefs know we should taste more, taste more, yeah. you add more and you add more it's a little bit like chopping your fringe before you know it you've gone too far and you can't go back <laughs> you shouldn't really taste the chocolate in this recipe it should be an underlying flavor more than anything okay. that's quite fascinating yeah and it brings the heat of the chili down too by the way the chocolate yeah, yeah, the sweetness yeah. there brings the heat of the chili down anyway and we could right. put more chilies in no we no no yeah. more chilies you leave the chilies <laughs> right what are we doing now you can be in charge of those i just you can double them up these are our lovely um corn uh, tortilla and yes. we can just Fry those, oh, okay, cool. dry pan, yep. double up two, turn them over. You want to blister them a little bit black on each. Okay. You trust side. me with this, Nicky, do you? Sort of. <laughs> okay. I don't know. And then, so how long are we going to cook the, the mole for now? I guess, you know, for anything from 20 minutes to half an hour, which is when your chicken would be cooked, to last night I had to duck out and go to a short meeting and came back an hour and a half later. But it was still fine. But it was beautiful. It really reduced. It was quite sticky. Mm. It was fantastic. So, you know, it's either or. You, you can't really stuff it up. Shall I chuck this in now? 
Yep, yep. She, I'm asking you. Yeah, no. <laughs> this is your recipe. <laughs> and it does kind of look like a lot of chocolate there, so I don't know. I'm just going to put a little bit more. more in. Oh, look at you. Yeah, no, no, you can never have enough chocolate. Hey, the other thing is, now at this stage we haven't seasoned it at all, um, apart from all those spices. Spices, yeah. So we've got salt here, but whenever I'm cooking with stock, stock is often quite salty, isn't it? You yeah, know? so you always want to taste it before taste you it. add it. Yeah. yeah, and then add the salt later. Okay. Yeah, I because know also that. it'll reduce down and then you've got less liquid and more seasoning and more flavour in there. So you just want to be a little bit careful with your salt adding. I think. I'll do that right at the end, salt and pepper. Okay, cool. Now, what am I supposed to be doing with these bits of bread? Well, can you flip them over? I'm blistering them, am I? Oh, just burn them. Just burn them. You want a bit more? Bless you. Now, that's nice. See how you've got these little freckles on there? Yeah. That's what you're after. Okay, good. Little freckles, and then turn that over, and it makes them a little bit more pliable as well. And these are nice to serve with the mole. You can serve it also with rice. Uh, oh. Crunchy little tortilla chips oh, is what I went nice, for yeah. last night. Yeah, yeah, which was really nice. Good and work. A salad if you need to. Well, I must admit, <laughs> once you've got everything underway, it's just a matter of sitting back and relaxing. I love this type of cooking. Yeah, this is brilliant. And really, really simple. Let it cook. Get all the flavours, but high impact of flavour as well. Yeah. You know, the chilies brilliant. and the spices and, and, yep. and the tomato and the yeah. Beautiful. And look, you could leave out the bacon. I always feel like I should tell people. Well, I you don't say that to Mike. No, I know. <laughs> but I'm thinking about making a recipe kind of cheaply as well. Right. And I think that the way to economical cooking, to make it really heroic and delicious, but, you know, not going to break the bank, is you look at what's expensive. And ch herbs and spices, they don't change, they really don't change price at all. So no. that aisle in your supermarket is your friend, I think, to right. really good food. You know, you could, you could boil up some carrots and potatoes and onions, I swear, and put in some spices, and you'll have something crackingly delicious. You well, stir this with, with potato and eggplant. You totally you don't, you don't could. Need to put, um, meat nope, in you don't well, need speaking to. of good food, the food show. Yeah, oh, the food yes, show is about show. to get underway in Auckland, yes. and you're going to be part of this. Why should we come along and see it? Well, my segment is called The Sweeter Things in Life. Oh, good. And, uh, and that's because I guess I've really come around to doing quite a lot more baking since I've been the New Zealand woman weekly food editor. Uh, I love meals, but I'm sort of getting into the sweetness of life and making really great puddings and things like that. And, you know, sugar's so out at the moment. Nobody has sugar. But you need to realise that it is a treat and you can make really beautiful cakes, desserts. Yeah. At least you know you're eating sugar. You're not accidentally eating sugar. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah. And everything in moderation. Everything well, the food moderation. show is on in Auckland from the 27th to the 30th of July. Online tickets start at $26 for adults, $14 for under 12s, while under 5s are totally free. For more info and tickets, you can go to foodshow.co.nz. Not just you, but a whole lot of other foodies. Ray you know. McVinney, yeah. Simon Gold, the Annabelle. A whole bunch of us, and it's free to come to the cooking segments. We all give out loads of free tips and tricks, and the whole food show is about going and trying samples of great food, new food ideas, gadgets, all that's fun. I love it. Brilliant, <laughs> awesome. Yeah. yeah. So what, okay. cake, what cakes are you making? Oh, I'm making a kind. Of, <laughs> listen to you. I'm making kind of a souffle <laughs> thing. I'm making Sounds a good, really. I'll be there. Oh, I know. Yeah, yeah. I won't. Yeah, I won't give away all my surprises. Oh. But there is. There could be a brown sugar custard tart. Mm -mm. Yeah, how's the mole turned out? Well, it's looking absolutely fantastic. <laughs> So just serving it up now, and you can see that beautiful sauce is just really thickened up. Ooh, I know, and even goodness. though we skipped out that step where you can blend it up so it's smooth, it's got a little bit of chunkiness in there, but it's really thickened, isn't it? It's texture, isn't Ooh, it? Oh, we love it. Look Yum. at that, it's fantastic. I'll put the fresh coriander on. Oh, lovely. Jessie I love, love that. that. Oh, yeah, some people hate it, don't they? Me. <laughs> <laughs> and None look, it's you, then. soft tortilla. I just got these nice little crispy ones. We just crisp them up a little bit. So you just did that in a pan, just a little bit yeah. of oil. Yep, and then you can just scoop them up. Fantastic. Scoop your lovely sauce, done. Well, that looks at oh, <laughs> come on over, guys. Come on over. Oh, Brilliant. Wow. Yeah. OK, and this is your cookbook. The recipe is in here, it isn't is? it? Yes. And we're going to give away a couple on our Facebook page. So how are we going to do that? Well, I reckon people need to cook this within the next 24 hours because yes. otherwise it was just a good idea and you'll forget about it. Right. Send us a photo <laughs> in. It doesn't have to be styled, food styled, and uh, we'll give away a couple of books.